All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the Bugio uh, HD car camera. Now this is actually going in the Honda Pilot. I think I previously mentioned that it was gonna go in the Highlander, but I'm gonna put it in this car instead. So essentially there's three main components here. You do have your attachment for your window here. That goes directly onto the glass. You have the car charger, which is a mini USB cable. And then you have the dash cam itself. So go ahead and take off the protective plastic here on the cup. Pull this down, situate it something like that, all the way up on top. You just want to make sure to push down, get it as flat as possible, and then push down on the locking ring, and then I'll get it nice and tight. And just go ahead and eyeball the camera here. All right, and here's just another view of what I did. So as you can see here, it's just to the right of the shaded portion here, all the way to the top of the windshield. And it's pretty much in line with the rear view mirror. From here, you would just take your car adapter with the mini USB end. Go ahead and undo this tie here. And they do supply you with ample uh, cable length. Okay, so the USB port is actually up on top. Go ahead and plug it in. And then I like to just basically tuck it into the headliner, in between the headliner and the uh, windshield. So to assist with that, you just basically pull down on the headliner here, just a little bit, just to get that cable tucked in there nice and clean. And all the way to this corner here, and it's gonna be a little bit tight. Checking my work here. And then from this corner, I'm just basically going to follow this line. Um, don't think I'll be able to tuck it into this uh, little crevice here, but I'll do my best. Okay, this is just not budging, and I really don't want to mess with this uh, side current airbag. Uh, from here, I'm going to tuck it into this black rubberized uh, seal here. Let's go ahead and tuck it all the way down. Small little channel for that cable to sit, which is really nice. Sometimes there's a little bit of a gap where you can run it straight down this edge. Unfortunately, this really doesn't have any clearance for that. This I can probably tuck all the way to the top. A little bit of work, but let's go ahead and leave it like that for now, for the time being. All right, for this area, you can pretty much do a couple of things. So I'm gonna run it all the way down to this board here. So I can either tuck it into the actual glove box here. It's actually not too bad. So on the pilot, of course, you have the uh, 12 volt uh, car adapter portion here. I could do that, or I could even use the one inside the center console and just run this cable like underneath the seat or something like that, which probably would be a better choice. Um, actually, I might have enough length to run it underneath this car mat here, but uh, I think this is actually working pretty well. So let's go ahead and use this. Pardon all my wife's junk in here. Tidy this up a little bit. Actually, let's go do that. A little bit of slack so I can tuck this in underneath all this stuff. And take that same tie here. It's nice and clean. Tuck it in under all these masks here. Oh no, space left and right. Okay, as you can see here, cable is nice and clean, and um, that should do it. 
All right, so it's pretty much this area. I'll probably have to get a like a, a plastic spackle knife or something and really tuck this in nice and clean. have anything with me that can help um, that but yeah essentially I could just take a little spackle knife and run it the rest of the way and completely hide this out of view. Uh, this is gonna come back in closer once I tuck that wire in all the way and then I'll run it all the way up here. Headliner's nice and clean so we are all good. So that's pretty much it as soon as you fire up your car this will turn on every time. Um, I have my screen set to turn off automatically uh, Right out of the box, I believe it's just set to be always on. I don't like to have the screen always on. I find it a little bit distracting while I drive. So let's go ahead and uh, do that really quick. Let's fire up the car. Greeted with a little chime, the Bougio logo. And as you can see there, there is the view. You can also angle it accordingly. I like to get a little bit of the hood and I'm gonna go a little bit left just to keep it completely centered. Just make sure this is nice and tight as well as the lock ring there you go from here you can remove the protective cap of the lens find it without getting the sun right in my eyeball yeah this is hard okay got it there you go your clear hd picture there so you got your resolution full hd Exposure, motion detection, set this to on. Recorded audio is on. Date stamp is on. G sensor is low. That's if anyone bumps your car while it's actually parked and off. Uh, so that's pretty much it there. Park mode, let's do on. Date time, all right, so let's set the date here. as is okay oh, power off let's do one minute and that's just going to uh, turn it off automatically screen uh, screen si screen saver so again it turns off after three minutes and uh, beep sound uh, let's turn this off no beeps and that's pretty much it all right, so it's fully set up, menu's fully set up, everything's angled. Again, I just have to clean up the wiring a little bit, but other than that, guys, that is installed and you're ready to capture anything that happens, good or bad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this was the install of the Bugio HD dash cam. Go ahead and use my affiliate links if you're interested in purchasing this. Like, comment, and subscribe as usual, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.